a dream come true. It was honestly so surreal. Like my heart was beating so fast and I was just like so excited and like, am I really opening the show? It's crazy. This season, it was so much more about letting the quietness of the clothes sing and then the girls with very little hair and makeup next to none. There was a kind of certain classicness to it without being retro. I loved the that sort of languid, a little bit 70s silhouette with the midi skirt length and the, sort of the softness of the clothes. Although sheer pieces with the sort of 1980s bathing suits underneath, but you know, Kendall was wearing that, you know, covered red coat and that's a look that, you know, her mom or her grandmother could also wear. Bendy was very sophisticated, you know, Carl always kind of goes a little bit more creative and, and pushes the Fendi house with the furs, etc. for the winter season. I thought it was he was spot on with the color palette, red and brown, a very, very strong show, very graphic show, and now I really like the... I love the collection. Even the Tower Show furs were super chic and super subtle for Fendi. But I think that we're in a time when women want to look beautiful. The girls just look fresh. They look they look beautiful, and, and I think that's a nice thing. I think it's okay to be pretty because there's no shame in pretty. And Fendi was full of pretty clothes, pretty furs, and and, and beautiful models that actually look like those clothes could step off the runway and, and go right into reality. I loved just how, I mean, boyish and cool it was. All of the boots were so amazing. And I mean, I was obsessed with the whole collection, but I loved how my look was very simple and cool. There was a certain amount of heart back to an imaginary era and it's kind of a mix of eras and then it's actually what you feel like because at the end of the day it's what you feel like having now so it's your kind of instinct of what you want now Fendi perhaps is directed to a slightly older, more sophisticated client, but it's ultimately very beautiful and very innovative as well, because they do such fabulous things with their leathers, fabulous things with the cutouts, uh, the fabrics are divine, the shapes, they're always inventive. I think that's, you know, that's the beauty of Fendi, and I think this was a particularly strong season. It was all red, but what can be wrong with red, right? So nice. It was an amazing show. I was so happy to be in it. It was like really pretty. When you think about the House of Fendi, you think about a woman of luxury, a woman who is of means, a woman who wants to look expensive. And the clothes looked that. And there was a great fluidity to many of the looks. I love all the red on the runway and that hot red sock boot, which went over the knee. Oh. I wore this bodysuit under this dress. It was sexy, I love being sexy. It's always such an honor to do the show and work with Carl and just be in all of these amazing creatives' presence and it's awesome.
think was very beautiful. The proportions were very interesting. I think they, there was incredible product on the runway. Great bags, great shoes, a lot of great clothes. It was very sophisticated. Again, a very, very kind of controlled palette. Again, that mix of menswear fabric, but mixed back with just a little touch of mink. I think Carl, Carl kind of reined it in. Of course, he used some of the Fendi DNA, which is like the fur in Tarjas, which he's well known for. He did it beautifully this time with a more crop shape, a longer one as well. It was a really super collection. Carl does the drawings and Sylvia has such an immediate talent with her level of taste and her imagination and her freedom and so does he. And then we just, it just kind of flows and things happen and then you kind of look back and went, ooh, and that's where we ended up. <laughs> How did we get there? I don't know, there was no kind of, you know, it's very organic to use a kind of silly word, but it, it kind of says it. It's a, meandering path of creativity. It's like I'm free falling, it's a change of course.